What's up guys, welcome to Hardwin82 channel, I'm Adam and today we're gonna talk about why my computer is so freaking slow just a week ago everything was fine and today it's very sluggish why this is happening, what you can do about that, let's find out first of all guys, don't worry, that happens all the time to everybody internet is full of uh, questions about that why my computer is so freaking slow guys i'm not gonna lie i can't talk about all the problems you might have with computer but what i can promise you this video work will cover 95 percent of those situations so i'm sure will help you with your case as well i was an it technician slash help desk support for many years and if someone asked me adam why this is happening I could give him one simple answer, this will be just one sentence. That is happening because of the hardware or software issue. That's it. The only job you need to do is find out which one is it. So which approach we will take, hardware approach or software approach, depends a little bit from your hunch. For example, if you mess something with your system recently, install something, uninstall, change some settings i would start with a software ap approach but if you change something physically inside your computer you swap memory sticks uh, to different slots you add something inside or maybe connected mm, printer then i would start with a hardware approach if that was 2000 let's say 5 or maybe 2010 i would strongly recommend you to start with a hardware approach because there is no point of let's say fixing operating system if your hard drive is dying or memory is uh, generating errors cpus overheating stuff like that so there is whatever you do with your software approach will not work because you need to sort the hardware first but that was long time ago and my recent experience is telling me that most of the cases these days are caused by a user and that happens in your operating system so so most of the cases recently I'm having or my friends calling me and asking Adam help me it's because of the software side so again which one you will choose which approach you will choose first depends from you basically you need to trust your hunch and uh, yeah I'm sure you will be fine so let, let's get started. I think for this video I will start personally with a software approach. So yeah, let's go to my computer and have a look what we have there. All right, guys, so we are inside my computer. Let's, let's pretend this is your computer. You just boot up to your Windows operating system and straight away you've noticed something is not right. You try to open stuff and it's very sluggish it's not it's not that responding so where to start like i said first i will start with a software approach so so let's let's do that now so with software approach first what you want to do is find out what your computer actually is doing because at the moment i'm not doing anything i'm just maybe i'm moving the discourse or that's it i'm not doing anything but your computer might your operating system is doing something is uh, is uh, constantly communicating with other devices you have uh, installed you are connected to internet so there is some packages that are sent and they and some of them they are downloaded so there is constantly something is happening uh, without your knowledge so let's have a look what my computer is doing at the moment we will find out what your computer is doing to do that simply there is many methods to do that but simply press Control, shift and escape and you will see this little window it's called task manager and this task manager is telling you everything about your operating system what is happening behind the curtain so the first thing you will try to check is what is taking your resources so you will have a look at the cpu section cpu column at the moment my cpu is not doing anything it's only two percent 
and have a look at the memory section disk and and so on and so on you will be looking for something that is taking you resources in most of the cases when computer idle which means it uh, shouldn't do anything um, the only things he's doing is is the stuff he needs to let's say survive so when the computer idle like this you should see something similar the CPU usage should be around one to maybe five percent this is top the memory usage okay that depends how how much RAM memory you have in my case I have 32 gig so it's it's not very the memory is not used too much but uh, you will be looking at every section and you will be interested in uh, everything that takes too much resources so let, let's have a look what at the moment is taking the most CPU to do that just simply press on in this column and you will see the things that they are taking the most of CPU because I'm recording this I'm recording my desktop you see I'm using OBS um, OBS software so this is normal that OBS will be the first one but you might have something different I will just show you example let's say you have a virus and this virus is doing something and it's taking the CPU resources so you will see something like give me one second you will see something like this that one of the tasks is taking all the freaking resources of CPU might be all of the CPU might be all of the memory all of the hard drive you will be looking at something like that not necessarily 99 or 100% but everything that is abnormal abnormal I'm talking about 30 40 50 percent or even more this is abnormal behavior so when you do nothing nothing should take your resources so that was example of the CPU that is uh, under very big load so again I will stress my CPU task manager is showing me that this freaking uh, process is taking all my resources so what I can do from now on first of all make a note what that is in my case is CPU Z because I'm just giving you examples so I know this is uh, nothing bad I made this like this but you might have a weird name and uh, you have no clue the heck is this so what you could do first of all press the right button of your mouse and you have something like search online this is a very handy tool uh, instead of making note and going on google.com and pasting everything with one press of the button you will see um, information about this product so you have all the information you need that this is development uh, of application such and such and uh, what kind of process is CPU Z from blah 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 so very quickly you have information about what that process is because sometimes we might think that something is harmful but it actually it isn't because it's part of the Windows operating system processes that needs to be running in the background uh, but you might have a virus or you might have this malicious software and you you don't want this so after you check what that freaking was so after checking the search online when you finish and you know that this was something harmful you could end the task just just here just just press it and it's freaking gone so have a look if if one of those tasks is taking too much resources I just gave you example of CPU but might be memory or a hard drive uh, again you can just press here to see what is taking the most of the resources and uh, try to check on the internet what that was and try to kill it one of the very common thing I see these days is when your hard drive is doing something constantly constantly reading something constantly writing something so I just want to show you how this might look so you have this task manager and I would pretend that I'm doing something malicious uh, with my hard drive and uh, you see the disk usage increases 
So when you have situation like this, just press in this column and you will see the process that takes the most of the drive. So it's showing me this weird process called system is taking my whole, almost whole resources of my drive. So this is very good, quick and easy way to know, to see uh, what is actually happening behind the curtains. Um, also, you might, if you, if you want to play, but all the information you have here, but if you want to go uh, and play a little bit with this task manager, you could go to this performance page and also have a look what is happening here. I like this page mainly when I'm checking internet connection. So for example, I'm uh, downloading something and I want to control uh, what is the speed of something. I'm opening this task manager, going to performance, and now I'm going to the internet, uh, this one, and I am looking at the speed of send and receive data. So just pl just play with this. Uh, for example, my GPU is use is using 26% at the moment, but again, this is because of the OBS Studio I'm using to record my desktop. So okay, so you found the process that is taking uh, a lot of your resources. In some cases, even most of them, you kill it, but uh, you need to make sure this will not happen again. So what you could do from now on would be good to do two things. First, uh, check your computer uh, for, for viruses. So I hope you have a good antivirus system uh, and, it, and it has to be updated. Also, your operating system has to be up to date. So update everything you have and run a scan of your uh, operating system with one of those antiviruses software. Quickly, I just want to show you something. I have this brilliant app. I love it. It's very simple to use and it's powerful as... It's called Process Explorer. I talked about that in my previous video. And uh, when you look at this, it reminds you a little bit of the task manager. It's almost, almost the same, but here you have a little bit more details. And what is most important for you is this option you go here options and you need to check this check virus total.com so from now on this piece of software will check every single process you have with the database they have and their database is, base is fantastic it's one of the best out there basically so you want to check it so this will take just, just, I don't know, maybe one minute and he will check all the processes you have. At the end, just press here, go to the top and you will see warnings. In my case, all my processes were checked and only this one, the first one, showing that they scanned this specific thing with 74 different search engines and one of them saying that it might be virus. So let's have a look, just, just press here. And like I said, they have 74 different search engines to look for viruses and one it's called eGambit. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's reckon it's not fully safe. Hmm. So, but 73 says it is, only one it says it's not. You could go to details, read a little bit. There is a community here, people talking about that. So for example, one guy says it's just Komodo internet security program, so it's safe. And uh, I know exactly what it is because it's showing me it's a Komodo, Komodo process. I'm using this specific tool for my uh, firewall. This is my software firewall. I have a uh, hardware as well. So I know, yeah, I can trust it. So basically, you need to have a look at all of those. And uh, if something is like this, you need to have a look. One of the silly mistakes we are doing is uh, not controlling how much space we have. So 
a lot of problems we are having with our operating system is simply because we don't have enough space on the main partition so just go to my computer and have a look in my case operating system is installed on C partition probably is the same with you you have this icon of Windows operating system and you need to make sure you have enough of space if if you have uh, let's say less than five gigs of uh, space uh, you might have a problem depends also from a few other things but this is main rule you need to make sure you have an uh, empty space here because operating system is creating temporary files and they will be sometimes they are very big they are uh, they are needed for operating system to do something so yeah just just have a look if you need more space uh, and you're not sure what uh, files you should uh, uh, delete you could use one of the programs like a CC cleaner but I'm not using this anymore because of the few changes they made some time ago but what I can recommend is for example this Prevazer it's a very good program so for example this program it's it's simple and it's very good and it's doing the job so for example I can select all of them and I'm just checking if everything is fine yeah basically I can select all of them scan oh shit this will take 15 minutes Ooh. now it's going faster okay Okay, actually he completed the scan in 1 minute 56 seconds, which is great because it was showing 15 minutes. Um, let's have a look. Maybe I don't want to delete my cookies because I need them. Mm. Okay, it looks like everything else I can delete. Let's have a look. At the moment I have a little bit less than 31 gigabytes of uh, space. Let's have a look what will happen. Clean. Um, let's use the quick clean here on the side you have a counter you we can see live how um, free space is increasing okay 99 percent that is very long 99 percent Finally, 100% that took 17 freaking minutes, but no wonder he scan. Oh my lord so many freaking files um, So I had almost 30 gigabytes of uh, Free space now. I have almost five gigs more so he deleted a lot. Have a look we could go and see exactly details if you want so for example files cleaned so we roughly know where he was aiming basically most of that is from my Firefox um, internet browser okay I think Prevazerat made a really good job I just gain almost 5 gigs of, um, of free space interesting thing there are a few files he needs to uh, delete after restart let's have a look so he couldn't delete them because the Windows operating system at the moment is using them but they will be removed after I restart the system which I'm not gonna do at the moment because I want to show you different things okay so the next step would be check what is loading with your operating system so maybe there is a malicious software or a program student you don't need and they try to load with your operating system and they will take um, precious resources so let's have a look again task manager I go to this uh, startup page and from here you can disable uh, things that you don't need but be careful because you might damage something so do that only when you're sure about things so simply just press the right mouse of the button and press disable another program that I highly recommend you to install is this one it's called auto runs that's it the same company that we was checking before the process explorer this time this program is focusing on the things that they are loading with your operating system 
So you have sections, for example, this first page is just showing you everything, but if you wanna go to specific things like, uh, let's say, um, what Internet Explorer is loading with operating system, you can just press here, or what kind of ta tasks they are sh scheduled. So yeah, you could have a look here. Basically, the rule is this, if you're not sure what you're doing, don't don't change anything but if you see one of those programs that uh, you found before and uh, they are suspicious try to find the program here and just disable just by pressing this so spend some time here some time ago i was reviewing my wife's laptop and uh, one of the first thing i've noticed he was preloaded with a bunch of shit massive amount of apps and they were trying to do something and uh, and the whole experience was very 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 bad and the laptop seems to be very slow which was super weird because of the strong ps cpu because of the uh, loads of memory and still the laptop was very sluggish very slow in that video i was talking about uninstalling it's called third party apps to do that, simply go to the settings, apps, and uh, uninstall everything that you are not using. If you are not sure what, what what those programs are, quick check on the internet. Uh, for example, this first one, go to google.com, paste that in, small read, and you will and you will know. What I like the most is those settings here. Uh, first of all, I'm sorting by installation date, so I know exactly what was installed recently. So you will go step by step and you will know exactly what was installed and when. Another thing I like is the size because uh, some of those things are taking not only a lot of space but also a lot of resources. So have a look here. If, you, if there is something you are not using, simply uninstall. If your problem with computer starts recently and you know exactly the date, let's say a week ago, three days ago, you could try to restore your operating system to the state from, from let's say, if something happened three days ago, you could restore the system before that. To do that, again, go to the settings and recovery, go here. And now from, from this page, you could recover your oper operating system to the state that was, let's say, a week ago. Uh, simply go here, open system restore. And uh, because I'm not using this, I disable this feature, but here you will have a bunch of, bunch of uh, entries. You will just look at the date, just choose one of those uh, dates and just press next, 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 and the system will be restored. Okay guys, I have a good news for you. 95% of cases with a software problem uh, will be sorted with one of those methods I just showed you. I'm not talking about the super rare cases. Uh, this, is, um, this is a little bit more complicated and this is not in the scope of this video. All right guys, now we'll move to part two, which is the hardware uh, side of testing your computer. So we just check the software side and now we need to check the hardware, what exactly is happening with our, with our parts. So I would probably start with checking the temperatures. Um, I made a video some time ago, it's called um, CPU throttling, what that is and why you should care. If you haven't seen this, I recommend you highly to have a look, will be, will be here. And uh, I'm talking about those cases when you're CPU is overheating, but uh, it's sometimes it's not easy to notice this because of the safety features built into the processor. So uh, the only indication you have that something is not right is that computer is working very slow and then it's okay and then it's slowing down again, especially when you're gaming, you play the game, everything's, everything's fine and suddenly everything is very sluggish and after five, 10 seconds, again, it's everything is okay. So uh, this is happening because the throttling. So let's have a look at the temperatures. My favorite program is this one, HW Info 64. So you will install the program, the, the link will be in the description below. 
and simply have a look what's going on here. I'm, I'm talking about the CPU temperature, so we will go to the section with the CPU. So we will be looking for the temperature reading for the CPU, which is here. The current is 29 degrees, which is great. Um, the CPU in idle shouldn't be higher than 45, 50 degrees. Uh, if you have more that might need, that means that you might have a problem with your cooling. I have 29 degrees because I have uh, water cooling. That means it is very, very low. Normal temperature depends from the CPU you have is 50, 60 degrees in idle. Uh, under load, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be more than 90 degrees. So have a look what is going on here. Uh, let's say your computer is not doing anything and the temperature is high. That means you need to have a look at your cooling. If you don't know how to do that, you need to, you need to ask someone who knows. Uh, basically, you just need to open your case, have a look inside. Maybe something is loose. Maybe you need to remove your current cooling, put some fresh uh, paste and reinstall the, the cooling again. Okay, so this is the first step. Uh, but the temperature obviously will be different in idle and under stress, so we need to stress our CPU. You could run some games and have a look what is the temperature here, but I highly recommend you to install program like OCCT. It's a very good program to stress your CPU. So basically what you wanna do is just uh, run one of those stress tests. You have, uh, you have different sections here, you could attack only GPU memory or uh, you could use all of those yeah and just simply press play so this program is great is uh, taking all resources of your CPU let's have a look here so this will warm up pretty pretty badly your CPU which is good because we want to find if there is any problem with your cooling uh, you have also um, temperatures here so you don't need for this this program um, you have also this status uh, window no errors detected and uh, yeah try to run this program at least for 15-20 minutes and you will if anything is wrong again you need to work with your cooling okay so that was a CPU the same you could do with uh, memory and memory is the step two which you should do my favorite program is a mem test running um, outside operating system you need to download this uh, software upload on your uh, memory stick and run uh, run from from it mem test is my favorite program uh, which i was using every day when i was an it technician but you could use also occt that's that's not a problem uh, memory here just press play ideally you don't want to run this uh, under operating system if you want to have the best results uh, so memory mem test is better but also windows operating system has a memory diagnostic tool just press here memory and you have this di diagnostic app Press this, computer will restart and will check memory. Depends from, uh, from memory you have installed. This could take from 10 minutes to even an hour, so, um, so be patient. Okay, so you check the CPU, you check the memory. The next step would be the drives. Very good program that indicates some kind of problems with uh, drives is this HD Tune. Again, link will be in the description below. And you go into this page called Health and you'll be looking at something called Smart. Smart is a shortcut from self-monitoring, analysis and reporting technology. It's basically the page with all the sensors that they are checking all the time, the health, the condition of the drive. So you will be looking at this and uh, if you don't know how to use it properly, don't worry about that. Just just check this, check health status, which is okay, or maybe it's uh, indicated something is not right. Sometimes you you might have this problem like I have here. For example, you will choose different drive and there is no 
indication because some of the drives require specific app to check the health stat status. HD Tune is not the perfect tool to do that, but will tell you a lot. Also, the program I was showing you before this uh, HW Info is also showing a lot of information about the drive. So play with those software and uh, and yeah, and check check your drive. I think I will make another episode just purely f for the drives, how to check them, what to look for, and basically how to properly benchmark your drives. But this will be this is this is subject for a whole new video. Okay, guys, and uh, of course GPU. You need to check your GPU if it's running uh, without any problems. Again, OCCT is a great tool for that, but also you might like something like MSI Combustor. It's a very good tool. It's stressing GPU to the maximum. Just press stress test and this, uh, this freaking thing will test your GPU to the limit. Again, try to run this uh, kind of software at least for half an hour to have uh, the best results. All right, guys, we just checked condition, uh, physical condition of the parts installed in the, in the computer. I'm afraid there is no easy way to check uh, everything. For example, it's very hard to check uh, motherboard uh, or power supply. But if there is anything wrong, one of those programs will crash. Uh, for example, you might have a problem with a power supply, which is running OK, but under very demanding game, will collapse and cause some problems but those programs will show you uh, weak points of your uh, of your computer all right guys we just covered 90 percent maybe even more of the situations you might have and uh, if you still experience some problems i'm sorry but you are one of those lucky ones and you are one of those rare cases i see on the internet or rare cases i had in the past as a it technician and for you we need a little bit different approach if you follow all my guidance i just i was just talking about uh, there are only few things you could do from that from from now on okay so you check all the hardware all good you check the software all good nothing suspicious but still something is not right don't you worry there is still plenty of things to do but it will be hard to cover in this video because every case is a little bit different but what what i can tell you is this i would s try to install a fresh operating system with the newest updates and with the newest uh, drivers ideally on the different drive if that is not possible at least make another partition and install operating system on this another partition and have a look other things uh, what you can do is uh, update your bios especially if you have a ryzen processor those new versions of bios they are game changers so have a look what motherboard you have try to lower down the frequency of your memory sticks uh, quite often i see these days that those uh, memories they supposed to work with such and such settings but after a while they they can plain a little so try to run your memory with a lower settings and i'm not sure if i mentioned this before try to disconnect all the devices you don't need to use at the moment so things like uh, printers um, speakers usb hubs uh, lan cable try to disconnect everything you don't need at the moment so i will try to boot up my computer only with a keyboard and the monitor that's it if you have integrated graphic card remove your graphic card the main graphic card you use and try to run on the integrated if you have some uh, pci slots taken by uh, let, let's say capture device or uh, different um, sound cards stuff like that remove them for your tests and try to boot up your, your system and have a look how, how how it's acting if it's still not working there are only two more things you can do number one thing number one is a part swapping so so ideally it would be nice to take your computer to your friend 
remove your, let's say, I would start with a PSU, connect his power supply and have a look what will happen, then try to borrow graphic card and then start swapping and swapping till you get uh, which part is causing you problems. And one of the last results you have is go to internet, go one of those famous forums like, uh, um, for example, Linus Tech Tips. You could you could go there and uh, and ask your community. Just just describe what problem you are having. Don't forget to mention exactly what spec you are using. More information you get, we will sort it faster. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. Don't forget to smash that like button if you want. If not, that's still okay. And um, yeah, I hope uh, I help you and you could from now on help others like your girlfriend and you could be a hero. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. And I will see you next time. Thank you.